Hi friends, this is Nirmal Patel from Aksha Education and today I am going to show you a cool trick of finding out the exact values of trigonometry functions by using a calculator. That's true guys, you did not hear wrong by using a calculator because in the world guys there are two ways are very very prevalent by using a magical triangle or by remembering the values but I'm going to uh, help you today to find out the value exact value of the trigonometry functions by using a calculator so in year 10 11 and 12 we are supposed to know uh, these values for sine cos and 10 trigonometry functions you should be knowing like for 0 so sine 0 cos 0 tan 0 value you should be knowing 30 45 60 and 90 degree so this angle exact value you got to know it not the decimals long one but the exact values guys so let us say uh, uh, how to do that by using a calculator so i ha do have guys a calculator right here so i'm going to show you everything step by step it's just going to take few seconds only and then you will be in a position to find that out so certain functions guys let us say i got a sine 30 so sine 30 you can do it guys without uh, uh, much problem because if i'm just prepping sine 30 and equal to it's coming 0 0.5 if i press sd button yeah it's automatically converting into friction so that is not a trouble actually cos 60 a kind of a same guys but i'll just show it to you cos 60 also comes nicely 0 0.5 sd button one half even 10 45 is also not a trouble but these values guys sine 45 cos 30 10 30 1060 if you want to get the exact value by using a calculator that's a bit of a trouble so i'm going to show you the process properly and then you can follow that so sine 45 equal to so can you say it's a long long answer so basically it's an irrational number so if i press now sd button here you can see it's not working it cannot change into friction so now i'm going to tell you what process exactly you're going to follow so the first step is do the square of your answer your answer is this i'm making the square so square and equal to so 0 0.5 is the square of my answer i will change that to sd so 1 upon 2 but 1 upon 2 is not my answer because i did make the square of my answer so i'm going to the square root of 1 upon 2 manually so square root of 1 is just 1 and square root of 2 is root 2 so sine 45 is 1 upon root 2 guys done another one i'm going to show let us say cos 30 so i can put down cos 30 equal to same issues it's a long thing it's irrational number i am going to do the square of the answer which is 0 0.75 i'm going to change st button to friction 3 upon 4 but 3 upon 4 is not my answer because I did make the square. So I have to make the square root. Square root of 3 is root 3. And square root of 4 is 2. So root 3 upon 2 is my exact answer of course 30. How cool is that guys? Yeah. Now I'm doing 1030 guys. So let us say 1030 equal to again a big number. So I'm going to do the same process. What is the next step guys? Yes, yes, that's correct. You are going to make the square of that. Once you do that, what is the next step, guys? You'll change into fraction by pressing ST button. So 1 upon 3. But do not forget, many times students take one th third as an answer. This is the square of the answer. So you go to the square root at the end. So 1 upon root 3, guys. Yeah? Now the last thing. Let's say if it is a 1060. You can do the same thing you can do the square of the answer and then it's three you don't need to press st button because already it's coming three but this is the square of the answer so the answer is going to be root three please kindly subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so you don't miss out some cool maths video every week also put in a comment i subscribed so we can respond it back to you